Let's roll. In, in the end, what was the hardest position battle to sort out, at least for week one? Obviously, you'll keep them beating all season for week one. Oof. All right, there, was, there was a lot of tough ones. Um, there, there's several that, you know, we got a, we got a, I say several, we got a few that we're certainly going to play multiple people at. Uh, you know, see how the game goes. Um, but there's several guys out here we feel like that have earned the right to, to go out there and play. So, um, you know, we've had some tough decisions. I mean, you know, we've had tough decisions. I've talked about the quarterback battle. I mean, I think certainly, you know, kind of just divvying, divvying up the reps between the running backs. A lot of those guys have, have really had productive camps. Um, the receiver's competitive. Certainly the interior of the old line has been very competitive. Um, you know, D-line, especially the interior, has been very competitive. Um, gosh, I mean, honestly, it's not hard. I guess I'm going to get to all, the, all every position on the team here pretty soon. So I guess, and that's a good thing. So yeah, we've we got a lot of guys at every position that we that we want to play, um, that we want to see. Obviously, these guys go compete, um, and I'm sure we'll continue to evaluate throughout the season. There are a lot of similarities with this LSU team and you guys, mm -hmm. new quarterback new defensive coordinator, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. How do you go about preparing for a team that where there isn't a ton of tape of the quarterback or it's a new defensive coordinator, especially in this case? Yeah, we've had, it feels like a lot of these last few years and probably, you know, with quarterbacks, you know, either graduating or transferring or doing all that they do. And then obviously all the coaching turnover the last several years, it feels like more of the first games have been like this where, you know, you, you feel like, I mean, you watch you watch people, but you feel like, all right, I, we're not maybe seeing exactly what it's going to be, or if you're having to watch a different opponent or a player from a different school, a coach from a different school. So it is what it is. Um, there's, as I said last night on the show, I mean, there's parts of it that, yeah, sometimes you wish you were just sitting there watching the people that, that you're going to play, like do exactly what they're going to do, or at least run their system. But then the, the flip side of it is, you know, it's 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 their first game in a lot of areas too, as it's going to be ours and some. So um, yeah, you got to make the most of it. You got to be ready to adjust in first games because even if it's the same system, people are going to have made adjustments. They're going to have changed and evolved throughout the year. Um, and then and then obviously you add in all the you know the technology changes, and that's just a whole another layer of adjustments that'll uh, that'll be fun. Going on going on for that, Lincoln. I mean, what's the challenge of you know first year you, you guys played Rice first game, second year San Jose State, and all of a sudden you're coming in here first game of the year and playing. LSU, what's just the challenge of you know knowing you guys don't have any sort of kind of tune-up opportunity before you play you know a national power? Yeah, never really viewed it like that. I mean, these these games are fun. I've been in a couple of these big ones at the, in in early seasons, um, you know, and they're great because you look forward to it all off season. It's a great way to start the season, and so um, no, I think it's a positive. I first games, there's always a sense of new and excitement and. You're kind of waiting to see what you really are and what the opponent really is. I, I think you, you always feel that. Um, but I, I like it. I like playing a, a marquee game early. I like playing a really good opponent early. Um, I think there's there's a ton of positives. And like I said, I think there's been a, a momentum and an excitement about this that's been building for a long time. Uh, Blake Baker has known to use a lot of like blitz packages and be very aggressive with his play style. What do you see as some attacking points this weekend? You want me to share them all? <laughs> <laughs> These guys know me well. Um, uh, he, listen, he's done a really good job, right? You get the coordinator job at, at LSU it means you've, you've done a really good job. So um, I don't know him, but um, know of him. Certainly, you know, impressed by the work he's done. You know, he did a great job at Missouri working with those guys. Uh, had a good group. They played at a high level. Um, did a nice job mixing things up, keeping off balance. Um, you know, certainly was had the ability to bring pressure, but it's not like it was just sitting there bringing pressure every down. So you now it looks like. Looks like he's a, a creative guy, um, has done a really good job as a young coach, and it'll be a good challenge for us. Any injuries? What's that? Any injuries? Uh, we're doing, shoot, we're, we're doing pretty well. We had a we had a very clean camp. Um, everybody that's been limited in any way is is rolling right now, so I don't anticipate missing anybody. Team coach, have you, identified, have you identified the five guys who are going to be wearing the communication devices during the game, and who are the team captains? Yeah, uh, communication devices. Um, you know, we're certainly, you know, we're going to have them on the quarterbacks. And then we've got a, a couple of different players defensively that are going to have them on. Uh, then um, I don't know just for competitive reasons that I'm going to announce. Um, uh, captains wise, we're, we're pivoting a little bit, um, a little bit closer to kind of what we did for the Holiday Bowl. And we are going to have captains. Uh, we're going to have captains this year game by game. Um, we're not going to name permanent team captains. Now I do have a, a leadership council that's permanent that I meet with uh, on a weekly basis and that'll continue. 
uh, but our captains are going to be are going to be earned each week um, and will be announced. And so, uh, um, you know, this week it's uh, it's Akili, uh, it's Miller, it's Jonah. Um, gosh, y'all going to test me now. It's Easton and Kyron Hudson. Those are those are the five uh, for this week. But that'll uh, that'll change, and not necessarily on. You know, somebody not doing a good job. It's just going to be the five that we think are the best and, and most uh, deserving and the ones that we want leading us out each and every week. And kind of like this game of college football, every week you got to earn it. Is the leadership council comprised of players? It is, yep. Is yep. that a new thing? Or is that no, no, we've been doing it. We've been doing it since I got here, so that, that'll stay pretty steady. Lincoln, we haven't asked you a ton about the pass rush. How do you feel about that just coming into game one? I'm excited about it. I am. I mean, I think, you know, what I'm looking forward to is, I mean, listen, you always want guys to be able to win in one-on-one -on -one situations. But I, the other thing I think you look at is, are you are you affecting the quarterback? Do you have the ability to, to move the pocket? And it's not always just, you know, winning a one-on-one, -on -one, maybe collapsing a pocket where he's got nowhere to step through or, 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 you know, nowhere to scramble into. And so I think we've got some guys that have the ability to win different ways um, and certainly hope to see some guys win one-on-one -on -one and get some free shots on – on their quarterback, but also we need to we need to do a good job of affecting this pocket um, and trying to close down space in there and make life a little bit tougher because no, no quarterback likes that. Let's see one more. Lincoln, now that you've seen them for a month, is there any true freshman who stood out to you this preseason? There definitely is. Um, I, I, mean, I think we have a handful that, that certainly are going to help us. Um, you know, I think we'll, we'll have a few that will certainly play some reps here Sunday and then like always, I think I think we've got quite a few guys kind of in the batch of like they're they're just about ready. They may need like a, just a few more weeks, but that, that you would feel like, hey, these guys are. By the time you get in the season, it's hard to imagine them not having a pretty big role on this team. So um, y'all know y'all know me. I don't love to, to anoint freshmen until they do go go do it on the field. But we've got some. Uh, I think you're going to see some guys that, that do some really good things for us Sunday, and I think the true freshman impact will grow more and more as the season goes on. All right. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, thank you.